Appendix D is petition between a Christian and a Saracen. A translation of a selected pages from Kotak text. This petition between a Christian and a Saracen. Section 1A. The omnipotence of God and the cause of every good one. When the Christian was asked by the Saracen, who, who do you say in the, is the cause of good as well as of, as well as of evil? The Christian will say that God alone is the author of all that is good, but not of evil. The Saracen asks in response, who do you say in the cause of evil? The Christian, of usually the devil, who has perfected the truth by, the, by choice, and we humans, because of what? Because of our own free will. Section 1b, men's power. Salvation. What then? Do you have free will to do anything that you wish? Christian, God has created me free in regard to only two things. What are they? Doing what is evil and doing what is good. Accordingly, if I do wrong, the law of God punishes me, but if I do, what is good, I do not fear the law. Instead, I am rewarded by God by His mercy in the same way before the first man. The devil had been created with, with his own free will by God, but he sinned, and God expelled him from his proper state. Session 1c Justice of God, Quarter 1. If, as you say, good and evil come from God, then God is unfair, but He is not. Indeed, if God has commanded the adulterer to fornicate, the thief to steal, and the murderer to kill, as you say, then this man deserves honor for the obedience to his will. <laughs> Section 1D, Creation and All Generation, Quarter 1. The Saras and the Saracen, who he says, forms the infants in the wombs of the woman, the Saracens present this difficult rejection because they want to prove that God is the cause of evil. For if I reply by saying, God forms the infants in the wombs of the woman, the Saracen will say, Behold, God is cooperating with the fornicator and the adulterer. The Christian response to this, we find nowhere in the scripture where it, is, where it says, Well, God formed of creator anything after the first week of the creator of the creation of the world. For God created the heavens and the earth and the universe in six days, and the seventh day he rested from all the work he had started doing, as the scriptures witnesses witness to we. Section 1e God's foreknowledge of man's destiny, quarter 1. And the Saracen, how is it that God said to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and while in the womb, I sanctified you? The Christian, since Adam onwards, God gave to every man the power to, en to engender life in the womb. For Adam, having the power to engender life in the womb, became the father of Seth and Seth of Enos, and every man of engender sons, who in turn engender sons until this present time. Session 1F, Baptism and the Will of God, got to and the opponent, but was the but was the baptism before Christ, for Jeremiah was born before Christ. The Christian there was, according to the testimony of the Holy Apostle, some who were baptized in the cloud and others in the sea. And the Lord said in the Gospels, He who is not born of the water and the Spirit will not enter the kingdom of heaven. There were Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the other saints who preceded, who preceded Christ and have entered the kingdom of heaven, having baptized before, since according to the testimony of Christ, if they had not been baptized, they would not have not been they would not have been saved. Therefore we proclaim that all who were and are saved to baptism whereon are saved by the grace of God. Session one G God's providential and permissive will go to three and four. The Saracen in your opinion is the one who does the will of his God, good or evil, the Christian. However, sensing a trap said, I know what you are getting at. The Saracen explained it to me. You want, ask, you want to ask me, did Christian, did Christ suffer willingly or unwillingly? So that if you if I say to you, he suffered willingly, then you will say me, 
go and bow down before the Jews, for they had done the will of your God. The Sarkasin of Miss. That is what he wanted to tell you. If you can answer me, do it. The Christian, what we, what you call will, I, I call, what you call will, I call tolerance and patience. How can you demonstrate that? Session to e. The cast and the word of God. If you, if you will be asked by a Saracen, what do you say that? What do what do you say? The cast is say to him, word of God. And do you and do and do not suppose that you commit a sin? Because in the scripture, he is called word and wisdom and arm of and power of God and many other similar things, for he has many names. And you also return the question to him and ask, What is Christ calling your scripture? If he tries to avoid this question and wants to question and what and want to and wants to question you on another subject, do not answer him before he, he before he, he has answered your question. He will be compelled to answer you in my scripture. God is called God is, God is called Spirit and Word of God. And then ask him again, according to your scripture, are the Spirit of God and the Word said to be uncreated or created? If he says they are uncreated, tell him, Behold, you agree with me for that which for that which is not created by someone must be God who creates. If he is actually bold enough to say that they are created, say to him, say to him, and who created the Spirit and the, and the Word of God, and if out of perplexity he tells you that God created them, say to him, a little before you were saying that they are uncreated, and just now you are saying that God created them. Well, if I told you the same thing, you you would have said to me, you will destroy the testimony, and whatever you say from now on, I will not believe you. Nevertheless, I will ask you this. Before God created the Spirit and the Word, did and the Word did He have neither Spirit nor Word, and He will flee from you, having nothing to say in answer to you. For those who say such things among the Saracens are regarded as heretics and are rejected and detested by other Saracens. And if, you, and if you want to denounce him to other sergeants, he will be very afraid of you. Section to be the word Logos and the word of God, Logia Primata, Codex 6. And if a sergeant asks you the word of God, are they created or uncreated? They pose to us this very difficult question in the effort to prove that the word of God is created which is not true. If you are said they are created, he will tell you, Behold, you are affirming that the word of God was created. But if you answer they are uncreated, he will say, Behold, all the words of God that exist are uncreated, yet they are not God's. So you agree with me that although Christ is the word of God, he is not God. For this reason, answer. For this reason, answer with neither created not uncreated, but rather say, I confess that there is only one hypostatic word of God which is who is uncreated, as you also acknowledge. On the other hand, I do not call my scripture in its in its entirety words, but rather utterances of God. Session to see the communication of the word to man, the incarnation, Cortex 6, Cortex 7. And if Sarasin asks you, how did God descend into the womb of a into the womb of a woman? Say to him, Let us use your scripture and my scripture. Your scripture says that God purified the Virgin Mary above all other women, and the Spirit of God and the Word of God descended into into her. And my gospel says, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Behold, both statements are saying the same thing. Session to the the Trinity of Christ, quoted Ike. If again the Saracen asks you, if Christ was God, how did he eat, sleep, drink, sleep, and so on? Tell him that the eternal word of God, the one who created all things according to the testimony of my scripture, as well as yours, the only, the one who became the perfect man, 
from the flesh of the Holy Virgin Mary, possessing a soul and intelligence. This the one who ate and drank and slept. In contrast, the word of God did not eat, nor he drink, nor he did no he no did he sleep, nor was he crucified, nor is he dead. But the old word, but it was the holy flesh that he received on the blessed virgin that but was crucified. You should know also that Christ is said to have two natures, but one hypostasis. For the paternal word of God is one, even after he assumed the hypostatic body, personally, but not physically. For a fourth person has not been added to the Trinity after an ineffable union with the, with the flesh. Session 3, the death of Theotokos, chapter 9. If the Saracen asks, did the Theotokos mother of God did die of life? Reply to him, we can say with confidence upon the evidence of the scripture that she did not die. The natural death of man came upon her, but she was not born or subjected to it as we are far, far from it. But it was more like the steep of the first man when his rib was removed. Session 12 Secondary causes of the creation. Code 10 If the Saracen asks you, Suppose that I have been struck somewhere on my body, and the flesh being wounded from a contusion and in contortion, a worm has formed. Who has created the worm? Tell him that we that we have already answered that before. Session 2G. Who is creator? God 11. The Saracen asks the Christian another question. According to you, who is creator? The one who sanctifies or the one who is sanctified. The Christian, however, releasing the implication of the Christian replied, I know what you want to say, the Saracen. If you know, if you know tell me, the Christian said, If I tell you that the one who sanctifies is greater than the one who is sanctified, you will say to me, Go then and bow down before John the Baptist, because he baptized and sanctified your God. And the Saracen, that is I, that what I wanted to say to you.